Marge Freeman, a viewer, shared these photos of last night's lightning storm on our Idaho Weather Watchers page, and we're going to show them to you right now. This happened late last night if you were sleeping, and Rachel's going to fill us in <laughs> right now on it. Hi, Rachel. So cool. I love seeing all these photos, Maggie. And what you're seeing there is a lot of intra-cloud or cloud-to-cloud -cloud lightning, not all of it coming to the ground, and so it's just making those clouds look like they're lighting up from the inside. Really, really cool. I want to show you guys a different vantage point. Look at our time lapse from overnight. This is from the top of Tamarack Resort. Watch for flashes in the clouds. There's that lightning coming in. I pause it here on this one in particular. You can see it just looks illuminated from the inside out. You see a little bit of that rain shaft underneath that storm cloud. And then of course overnight we have seen all that storm activity melt away off to the northeast and we have mostly clear skies over central and southwest Idaho. So a pretty quiet weather day today. If you're in Valley County in the Donnelly, Cascade, McCall areas, you might have a couple more thunderstorms to contend with this evening and afternoon, but I think that's about it for the long term period because as this system moves off to the northeast, high pressure starts to build in and take over. We'll still have some moisture coming in from the southwest uh, courtesy of that high pressure, but we likely won't have a lifting mechanism, which is one of the things you need to help create those thunderstorms. So I don't think we'll see much more storm activity after this afternoon. So a few storms possible for our West Central Mountains. Otherwise, a fabulous Friday, nice and warm. We'll likely see some clouds coming in later this afternoon, but our weekend stays nice and warm and sunny. So here's what you're stepping foot out the door to this morning. Upper 50s to low 60s across the Treasure Valley. 61 right now in Twin Falls. McCall, you've dipped down to 49 degrees with those clearing skies overhead. For the rest of your day, we'll be up to the low 80s, mid 80s by 3 o'clock this afternoon. 85 is my anticipated high for Boise. We do have some clouds that will build in, so that'll knock our temperatures back just a little bit compared to our 89 from yesterday. Sunset, by the way, 8.07, and we only have a few days left of sunsets in the 8 o'clock hour. By next week, we're looking at 7 o'clock hour for those sunsets. And hey, sneak peek of tomorrow's weather. If you're headed out to watch UCF take on our Boise State Broncos on the blue at 5 o'clock, 88 degrees at kickoff time. So a very warm, but in my book, perfectly pleasant day for some football out there at Albertson Stadium. Across the region today, we'll see low 80s for the Magic Valley with sunshine early and some clouds building in later. That will likely be the trend for most of our areas today. Mid to upper 70s for Sun Valley and Haley. That's an amazing Friday. 74 in McCall, 76 for Donnelly and Cascade. Heading into the lower Treasure Valley, Ontario, flirting with 90. Not quite there. We'll see upper 80s for Weezer, Emmett and Nampa. 85 in Boise. And then as we look at our seven day forecast, no big changes coming our way. Upper 80s, sunshine, light winds all the way into the middle of next week.